grand. Crashed her motorbike again. Still, at least these flowers should cheer her up, eh, Natasha? Excuse me, madam. Do you know where I can buy some flowers, please? Hey, mister, I'll sell you these if you like. Plenty more where they came from, eh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Uh-oh. Oi, you! We're with the flowers. What? Hang on. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. No dogs. It's a toy. Anyone can see that. Look. You pull his ear to make him wag his tail, and you press his nose to make him bark. Ooh, that's good. Have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic, isn't it? So, you were sold the flowers by a boy with a dog, were you? I think I know who that is. Dennis, how's me bike? Bad news, Gran. I'm afraid it's smashed to bits. Smashed to bits? Oh, I was only doing 150. Oh, never mind. Go and get us a cup of tea. All right, Gran. There they are. Dennis, just as I thought. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on! What's the matter with the lifts in this place? Get him! Till I tell you. <gasps> right, Nasha, we're out of here. Nasha? <gasps> Come on, where are you? <gasps> Who's a lovely little baby, eh? Dad is going to be ever so proud. And look, here he is. Hello, love. Oh, is that my little boy? Yeah, love. Oh, he's gorgeous. And look, he's got hair already. Oh, goochie, goochie, goo. Oh, goochie, goochie, goo. Here, I've uh, got something for you. Oh. Ooh, is it my favourite? <laughs> Might be. Nasha, here, boy! 
Oh, it is. Oh, you know how to spoil a girl. Mr. and Mrs. Butcher, sorry to trouble you, but there's been an outbreak of baboonic plug. Baboonic plug? Ooh, I've never heard of that, have you, love? No, never. Hmm. Maybe it was bubonic plague. <laughs> oh, is it serious? Thought we'd just have a light snack to steady our nerves. That's very kind of. Shame little Junior can't have any. He's taking it all in mind. Look how he moves his head. He's eating meat already. I reckon we've got us a child prodigy. Oh, that's nasher for you. One sniff of free grub and his brain turns to jelly. How are you going to get him back? Simple. We put this down the chimney. He bites on it, we pull him out. You serious? Who'd be daft enough to climb up on the roof with a fishing rod? What? The authorities are now searching Beano Town for the perpetrator of this wicked hoax in which people feared they had caught bubogic plane. I'm sorry, that's bubonic plague. <laughs> Now what's got into him? I think he wants to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Well, don't let him get dirty in the fireplace. Yeah, what's this? I got him! <laughs> Hang on, pie face! <laughs> into a lot of trouble for this. Why? We're only borrowing it. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, love, but this is beginning to cost us a fortune. Better that than a baby who won't eat. <laughs> now what's got into him? Dennis, you are so busted. But it was an accident. It's all because they took my dog. Stop talking nonsense. You are coming with me, my boy, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when your dad finds out about this. Where are Mr and Mrs Butcher? You left your baby at the hospital. Our baby? Huh. What do you call us then? <laughs> you see? It's true. This is your baby here, Mrs. Butcher. Look! <laughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> Oh. 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 Don't think that you're off the hook, Dennis. But what about his house? It doesn't matter. We're just so happy to have our baby. Oh, seems you are off the hook then. Whew. of you to treat us like this, Mr Butcher. My pleasure, son. Thanks to you and the insurance, we've got our dream home. Are you sure Nasher won't have some? No, thanks. Not until he's lost a bit more weight. <laughs> Go on, my son. <laughs> Nice. 
Asher, the tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr. Magnifico fight. Mr. Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh, come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr. Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. <laughs> First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of... Junior first aider! With your mum! <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a first aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your first aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. Are studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic yeah. bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just... My... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up, Nasha. Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Rolls and chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. <laughs> All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Your patient.
patient is suffering from heat stroke. What do you do to help? Uh, cool him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. Freezing! Oh! Job done! Uh. Hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. <laughs> I'm on it, Mum! Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! <laughs> what about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, uh, Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Ron. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Nip is competing in the big dog show in the park. You want to enter Nasher too? I don't know, Gran. Duck shows aren't really Nash's thing. <coughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <coughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> Dennis, this is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mouse is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasher and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riff-raff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, uh, hello, Athena. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwoof. <laughs> oh, Walter, can't you get rid of those creatures? Cheek, who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter. Let us in. I suppose I'll have to. But keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the mayor, Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. Please welcome our first competitor, Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Ooh, let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm. Well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out. Los <laughs> Chihuahuas Bancileros, ladies and gentlemen. They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, uh, I've lost my glasses. Oh, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwoof. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwoof. <laughs> Very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Minnie Wolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> what a Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm. I'm not sure that's allowed. Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. Uh, loved your act, Athena. Uh, so chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Vino Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Cough Drop. 
posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! Apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Viter. <laughs> Pedigree was in order, but zero for talent, I think. Oh, I, 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 I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. Oh, oh my goodness! Those beastly creatures might actually win! <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt. Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew we would do it, my poochie witchy. Oh. class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. It says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Of course he's special. He's my best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. Hooray! This is an Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Result, Masha. You rule. <laughs> <laughs> We're in 
trouble. It's the school concert in a couple of days, and without Curly on drums, even Walter's soppy trio will sound better than us. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. But what's more important than band practice? I don't know. He's been acting weird ever since he started collecting boobips. What bips? Boobips. You know, they're on TV. Boobips are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect everyone. All right, then. So what do you reckon Curly's up to, then? Only one way to find out. <laughs> For Operation Curly Watch. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Ooh, bits are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect. I can't believe it. He's thrown his burger away. He doesn't really want the food. He just wants the boo bit. But why? But what? That's what we're going to find out, Pie Face. Come on! Good news? OK, I'll come over right away. Come on! We've got to follow him! Who's he going to meet? Oh, I hope it's not a girl. <sighs> he's going to your house, then! No, he's not. He's going to... Walter's! <laughs> so, is everything going according to plan, Walter? Oh, I'll say. I told Curly the cafe was giving away boobips and he rushed over there right away. Missed band practice again. <laughs> oh, goody. Without Curly, the din makers will be hopeless. <laughs> Even more hopeless than usual. <laughs> exactly. And without them lowering the tone, the understanding stars of the school concert will be the Walter Chamber Trio. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Jolly <Top> good! <gasps> Shh! Here he comes. Uh, hello, Curly. Uh, how are you? Uh, OK. Uh, I can't stop. I've got to get home to settle my new boo bip in with his pals. Uh, you said you had some good news? Yes, indeed. Thanks to Father's connections, I shall be taking delivery tonight. And... Can I have a good look at it and and play with it a bit? Of Boo course, Bip, Curly Bob. Yeah, Boo, OK. Uh, Bob. I don't believe it! Curly and Walter! Friends! <laughs> it's like Walter has got Curly under a spell. Did you hear them talking gobbledygook? Yeah, I couldn't understand it. That's because it was gobbledygook, Pie Face. Oh, right. Anyway. He sounds like Walter's getting something Curly wants, and it's being delivered tonight. And we're going to find out what it is. <laughs> OK, everyone, you know the drill. Shouldn't take long. A warm wind boobip, the rarest boobip of all. And now that you belong to me, Mr. Warmwim, I can use you to control that silly boy Curly. This could mean the end of the din makers. And who knows? Perhaps even the end of Dennis. Huh. We'll see about that. <laughs> 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 No problem, Pie Face. I know what Curly wants now, and we're going to make sure he gets one. We are? Yeah. We're gonna make him the best one win boobip ever. Three eyes, eight legs, four wings, and one long tongue. Perfect. <laughs> I found him, Dan. Great. We're ready. <laughs> well, Omo, 
most. Uh, hi, Curly. Hi, Dennis. Listen, we know you're collecting boobips. Me? Oh, no way. That's mad. <laughs> Me collect boobips. <laughs> it's kid stuff. So, you'll not want the one whim we got you then? Oh, no. Uh, you got me a one whim? Yep. Okay, I do collect boobips. And yes, I'd love to own a one whim. Who wouldn't? Then your wish is granted. Ta da! <laughs> is this a joke? Huh? I collect authorised figures, not fakes. That's not a fake. Yeah, Dan should know. He made it. Okay, it is a fake. But it's not the only fake around here, is it, Curly? What do you mean? I mean, you're supposed to be with us, not hanging out with Walter. What? I'm not... Yes, you are. We saw... Hey, since when do I need your permission to hang out with anyone? Wait, Curly! I didn't mean to... Oh, it's no good. If we're to get Curly back with us, we'll have to find him a real one whim. But we're still broke, then, And we're running out of time. Don't worry. We'll get the cash. We'll just have to earn it. Not bad for a few hours' work. Easily enough to buy a one whim. But then, where are we going to find one to buy? Well, we know someone who's got one, don't we? We'll just make him an offer he can't refuse. Careful! It's very valuable. I uh, know, but this is probably the nearest I'll get to owning one. Well, you can always come and play with it, as long as you behave yourself, of course. Walter, you've got guests. Oh, that'll be Bertie and Dudley. Hang Bip on, Bob Chaps. <gasps> oh, it's you. What do you want? We've come to buy your one win. Really? I can't think why you'd want it. We don't. It's for our mate, Curly. I'm sorry. It's not for sale. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you'll change your mind when you see this. <gasps> Goodness. Hang on, Dan. Where'd you get all that money? Oh, delivering magazines. And doing gardening. And walking dogs. And you did all that just for me? Hey, what are mates for? We wanted everything to be like before. Just the three of us. <laughs> and Asher, of course. You know what? Me too. Come on, let's get out of here. So long, one win boy. What? Ah! Friends? For life. Pity we've got a new drummer. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go practice. The din makers are back in business and ready to rock and roll. I knew it. They've lowered the tone of the whole evening. Well done, son. You certainly rocked out. Played well. Thanks, Dad. It's been a great day all round. Yeah, we're all back together. The concert rocks. And we've still got all that money, too. Ah, yes, about that, Dennis. I've had a call from Sergeant Slipper. You have? Yes, about your fundraising efforts. Apparently, all the magazines were damaged and you broke a mains water pipe in Mrs Creature's garden and all the dogs had to go to the groomers. And I'm afraid everyone wants full compensation. Well, Mum, that's rock and roll. Oh, get off, Masha! It's Saturday! <laughs> <laughs> 
Curly. It's Saturday. Yeah, and guess what? The fair's in town. The fair? Give me five minutes. Choo choo. <laughs> Here comes the train bee. <laughs> Good girl, Bing. <laughs> Dennis, that's disgusting. No. Sit down and eat properly. No time, Mum. I I'm meeting Curly and Pie Face at the fair. Oh, no, you're not. I need you to look after Bee while I'm at my relaxation class. Oh, Mum, can't you take her with you? Well, that wouldn't be very relaxing, would it? Yeah, it'd be fine. Bee could chill out too, couldn't you, Bee? <laughs> See? She said yes. No more argument, Dennis. It won't hurt you to look after your little sister for a couple of hours. But, Mum, I want to go to the fair. Well, you'll just have to take her with you. <laughs> what are we doing first, Dennis? Coconut shy. Remember all the great stuff we won last year? <laughs> Balls of foam rubber. Oh, yes, uh, new regulations, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. Uh, I mean, injuring yourselves. <laughs> Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. <laughs> Never mind fun. You just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pie Face. There are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, son. Health and safety, in it. More than me job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Cause chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We were only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, you can have yeah. a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that! <laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and Bouncy Castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Go on, Bouncy Castle. Hoppy do a poo! <laughs> 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 
Hey, B, look, it's not my fault. You just can't. Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, Bee? Bee? Yeah. Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't I going to like? Bee? <laughs> flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. another class for next week, so I might want you to look after Bee again. That's all right, Mum. Bee's no trouble. Are you, Bee? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy <gasps> yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <sighs> uh, uh, I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. Oh, Dennis! Here! Over here! <laughs> Uh, 
<sighs> we have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. Uh, I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, now where did they go? Aha. And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! Takes the ball. Oh, no. <laughs> do, do. What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis. All this is the work of a child. Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralized. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine. Just to be safe. Put, 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 Wait! Come back! Nasha! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasha back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasha? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasha. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The boot. Get it? Nah, the boot, Slipper. But I've already got boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Boot's in charge of Beano Town. Yeah. If only old Slipper could show him up. Catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, 
just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pie Face, you're trying to get Sergeant Slipper to catch you. Gotcha. <laughs> Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. <laughs> Naughty boy. Fox one, Fox one, hello. Fox two, come in. You ready? Yeah, Fox two, ready. Hey, hey, hey what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um. Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, no! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mare, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! <laughs> oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? A mess. But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4! Go! Ow! Uh, oh! A road biker in the high street. All units to the high street. Over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> Arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this dog leapt on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. Uh, what happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learned any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> 